Hi everyone, uh, today uh, this video is to show you how to uh, open up your Acer switch uh, Alpha 12. Um, it's actually not that difficult if you know uh, how to uh, or where to uh, open. Uh, I'm going to be uh, showing you how you would uh, open the case to replace the battery. Uh, as well as uh, replacing the uh, memory, the SSD, the M.2 SSD. Okay. So first thing you need to do is uh, there are two screws on either side that you need to remove. Like so. Oops. All right, so that's screw number one and removing screw number two. It's completely off. Come on. All right. So that screw number two is off. After that, you could close. Uh, this back stand. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to pry this open between the metal part and uh, this next uh, plastic area. So I'm going to switch to uh, a little pry tool. I don't know if you'll be able to see here. Um, it's like a little hook at the end. Uh, you want to be very careful not to scratch the plastic. You want to start from the top center uh, is where I think would be a good spot to start. And once you snap open the first part, it'll actually be pretty easy to open the rest of the the clips. Okay. It's not really doing it for me. Okay, I think I have some of it open. Nope. There, I think I got it. I don't know if you could see. Okay, there we go. So I did pry that open. Um and then the rest of it, you kind of want to pull the middle part up a little bit, which will help it open. And then just kind of start prying it um, on either side. Want to be a little bit careful. You don't want to make any dents or scratches so that the case is still in good shape. Okay. So I got the top open now. This corner area is a little bit tougher. There. Got it. I'm going to get this side opened first.
so I want to continue to pry down the edge. Just continue down the side. Just don't poke in too far, which uh, might damage some of the controls or switches behind there. Just want to go easy. And let's see if this will just start opening up here, down here. Now I had previously uh, replaced the battery already, um, but I'll show you how the battery is going to be removed. Again, you need to have a very tiny uh, pry tool like so. Um, and again, just want to be careful if you don't want to damage any any of the uh, chassis. Let's go clip by clip. Okay, I got it. So once you have all the sides open, you want to be careful because. Um, there's a, there's a ribbon right here, so as you open up, you'll see that there's a ri ribbon right there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, uh, well actually, I, I'll just take it off. So right here, the ribbon, um, you have a little pull tab here. lift and then you want to pull it out and then that detaches so the case is now completely detached the next thing is uh, replacing the battery I had already replaced the battery right now it's not taped down but uh, uh, the original uh, battery is actually uh, taped down on both sides and it's a really sticky tape so you might want to, what I use is a, a Lego pry tool to kind of push in um, on either side of that tape down there so that uh, you could uh, remove the old battery. And then after that, there's this clip right here, which is more of a lift uh, clip that you can um, just lift up. Like so. Again, be very careful not to break anything. There. And then that's how you remove the battery. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put that right back and snap that back in. Okay. All right. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replace the um, uh, the SSD drive or the M.2. Um, I have a uh, Western Digital Blue. Um, what you're going to need to to do is you need to get the one with the slot B. So what you are going to see is that there's going to be two slots. That's the easiest way to find out. Um, if there are two slots, you're technically good to go. That's the slot B. And then um, if it's just a single slot here, down here, then that one is not going to work. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this aside here. Now to remove the, to remove uh, this uh, uh, cooling plate, 
you have a few screws that you need to take off. That's one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And then you have these four in the middle. Okay. They're, apparently they're all the same type of screw, so it's okay if you get them mixed up. But it's always to kind of place them together so that um, uh, they are in the right spot. Okay, so this actually, oh, I missed one. Okay, all right, so after that, this plate actually lifts up, this cooling plate. actually lifts up, okay, like so. Now I do have some thermal, old thermal paste that I need to uh, remove and replace. Um, this is the old memory, which is uh, 250 megs, uh, gigs, and I'm replacing it with the newer 500 gig. Okay, it looks like the the screw is not necessary, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Like how? Well, actually, the screw is one of these screws that will screw it down. Um, next, I'm actually gonna clean the uh, original thermal paste. Um, I do have thermal grease right here, which. Uh, comes with a cleaning patch or cleaning pad. It's just one. I'm actually gonna no, I can't. I'm just going to wipe that off here to clean it. At least that's the instruction is to uh, remove the original thermal grease so that you could replace it with the new. Okay. That looks good. Now it's clean on this side. I'm just going to clean it off of this plate here. spongy thing right here that I kind of moved it. I'm just going to put it back. It's kind of a, also a thermal, thermal material here. Alright, I think we're good. Well, I suppose they're going to just stick a little bit of thermal grease on that as well. I'm just going to wipe this down a little bit so it's not wet still. Just do a little bit down here. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to wipe that down a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then I'll just apply apply the thermal paste here and I'll put a little bit here as 
well. Um, pull it up a little bit. Okay. It actually gave me a little bit of a spatula type of thing that I could spread it. We're good. Okay. And while there isn't anything here, yeah, I'll just leave that alone. Okay. All right. So the thermal paste is in place. Let's clean this up a little bit. And uh, we're ready to put everything back together. Okay, good. Um, with that said, I'll put this back on. Like so. Start putting the screws back in. I'm going to secure the one with the... Actually, this part isn't really holding down the cooling plate. Um, that part is just holding down the uh, SSD drive. Okay, that screw number one is in. Screw number two. four center screws which should push it down on the uh, CPU here And that's it. So let's see. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to need to do is to push this ribbon back in. scratch the lens or the screen. I need a little bit more. Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna push this in here. I don't know if you could see I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. This part goes into this slot. I'm going to push it down a little bit and then pull. down and then pull over. So 
that should be secure. I think we're all good. Everything else looks to be in place. And that's it. You just uh, flip it over. I'll get the bottom part snapped in first. Which does hook on. Okay. And then you just start getting the edges in in place. It just snaps right in. Okay. That's it. So we just replace the uh, show you how to replace the battery and then we just need to put the two screws back in on either side. Now when you're looking for the screw, originally there is this gray uh, body colored tape um, that uh, is covering that so you're gonna need to use a, a sharp either a needle or like a, a rigid toothpick to lift it after you lift it I mean it's already kind of bent out of shape so there's not really any point to try to replace it oh, the bottom isn't snapped in actually okay I think we're good okay Where's the other screw? Uh-oh, there we go. And that's it. So, next then you could just try to power it on. And, uh, here you go. That's how you, uh, remove the case for the Acer Switch Alpha 12 and uh, to replace or upgrade the memory, um, the hard drive or the M.2 SSD as well as the battery. Okay, thank you everyone.